Welcome back to the channel. Now, Isaac Buchanan has again spoken out on the situation that he feels is taking place with the Jamaican judicial system. This after his UK Privy Council victory and after the DPP and her office confirmed that they will be seeking a retrial in the matter of the Vibes Cartel murder case. And at the moment, Vibes Cartel is unconvicted and waiting on his date to be released from behind the bars. And Isaac Buchanan maintains his stance, saying that he does not believe the Court of Appeal will agree to any retrial in the Vibes Cartel case. Now, I'm going to hear one and they will continue the reasoning. Look and listen. What are some standout cases you represented for? Um, standout case, I think for me, the, a highlight, a high profile case would have been um, State of Emergency. Mm -hmm. um, challenged the government when the Prime Minister was fixated on state of emergency. Um, I, I used to go to the lockups and they were just locking up people, telling them that they were the head of the goat gang and the members were goats. Um, for myself, even. So, long story short, state of emergency. Challenged it by habeas corpus, myself and John Clark and the lawyers who I work with generally. And the court ruled. First, when, when the court was to rule and the court said that, yeah, it's unconstitutional, the men were to be released, they said we were telling lies and a whole lot of, you know, that's when I started to realize that high drama in, so, in social spaces and media, mm -hmm. state media and all of that. And <clears throat> after the election, the judgment came out, then the government appealed, we won that as well. So that was a standout case. Then there was a... Indicom had put out a report about Noel Chambers. I never forget his name because he's a, a rascal man who died in prison. Mm -hmm. And um, prison conditions are the worst. So if, if two things for me is the innocence projects and, and just trying to improve prison conditions, that's probably why I'm a lawyer more than anything, human rights. And in the report, it was speaking about persons, mentally ill persons who were just at prison, not doing anything. And there was one particular individual who I remember because I used to visit cartel every single Saturday and this man was just always on a balcony across from where we are at the Spanish town prison mm -hmm. at the time and I inquired about him and stand up for Jamaica also had his information he was also in prison for 50 years I speak about him George Williams because I said to him the next time you see me, I spoke to him, you know, got his information. I said, the next time you see me, you'll be on the other side. And it took seven days for them to release him after he was locked up for 50 years. That, that's the one who didn't say trial? Never had trial. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, 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 and um, I think the, the, the court said granted like some, some baby money. I remember how much so it was. That's still, yeah, it's still before the court. But I did the criminal matter. Mm -hmm. John Clark and, and Jamaicans for justice and stand up for Jamaica. They're doing the civil. The civil side of it. But why is that though? Where where the system go wrong where somebody can be behind bars for 50 years? And I want to see that and even say, yo, all right, me I work here for 10 years and you're there for 10 years and nothing to change. Like me, me as a warder or me as somebody who work in the prison supposed to say, something to write yourself. Like where, where we go no, wrong? No, so you know you have people who are, uh, there's a time when people were in prison at the governor general's pleasure. Mm -hmm. What can a warden do when somebody's in prison at the governor general's pleasure? You ask, you ask some water, ask some waters now who's the governor general, and they probably can't tell you. I don't know who's the governor general. Uh, see, so, so if you are at the governor general's pressure and a man say, hey, I want to go home, the person's going to say, you have to ask the governor general. The laws change, ever, the laws have changed, and um, a lot of times when laws are updated, we just still operate the same way. Mm -hmm. So when you say, where did they go wrong? They, the, the system. It fails people all the time. We are a developing country. We're not the only country that do it, so we can't go hard on them. The thing about it also is that the people who are in existence now, if you think about 50 years, some of them were children when, that, when, when he was in prison. Some of us weren't born, like I freed a man when I wasn't born when he went to prison. So you have to think of it like that. So mm -hmm. it's just a, it's a broken system and there are things that everybody have to do collectively to fix it. So it's not necessarily a government blaming, but it's just, we don't care for each other the way we're supposed to care for each other. And that happens where people get fall by the way, or people are selectively abused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Criminal law, why criminal law? 
why criminal law yeah criminal law in jamaica is the area where the most constitutional violations takes place for me i'm a human rights attorney i'm passionate about the constitution because i found myself in a country where i was just a number yeah so i i left jamaica one day and i woke up and um i found out i was black like what <laughs> <laughs> me yeah yeah you believe so, yeah and they weren't treat it's like you were in a system where i was not isat being raised where i am isat i'm somebody mm -hmm. somebody's child and they ain't even trying to hear that yeah, they weren't even trying to hear your father yeah your father is big you what's a big youth <laughs> you know that, yeah. that kind of thing and never matter who my grandfather was no matter who my mother is and you're just black basic no truth be told you can see why when it comes to representation of the nature of what took place with vibes cartel and his case isaac buchanan was indeed the best person being an individual who has had running with the law returned to jamaica and then received his law degree and is also a human rights expert within law and with vibes cartel pointing out that he did not receive a fair trial hence isaac buchanan was indeed the best attorney for vibes cartel situation no, and I guess what the attorneys are pointing out, say, the decision is that of the court appeals or the court of appeals. But keep in mind, a decision to retry Vibes Cartel will only be done if it is in the best interest of justice. Not for representation or reputation, not for somebody's legacy. No, purely on the basis as of if this is in the best interest of the justice system. And what the people want to point out is that all our go on definitely make it look away upon the justice system. Isaac Buchanan pointed out when he was asked, what are some of the most, you know, difficult cases where stand out in my mind with injustice. And he pointed out an individual who was behind the bars, who when they heard that situation they being detailed, he was, he was released immediately after booking and get on the case and put to him need to put before the court. But it definitely exposed how mistreatment can be done, and un even unknowingly, by the judicial system. Because when, when it was brought to their attention, they make it right immediately. But because of the backlog, because Everything is not digital. And until the next thing when the people want to point out, will all of the talk, all of the money we are spent, we not see the infrastructure of even state ministries being brought up to standard on a first world level. Certain things are, we don't tell about digital this and digital that. And certain documents have still not been converted from written file to documents where you can obtain via either the internet or even from any digital device and then my talk about upgrade this and upgrade that meaning certain documents even at the courts are still written down they want to go in our room and search through it and in the state never look on that are investments not being put in the right places something up for the bit but some people that say yeah they definitely agree upon that. It's also interesting to note that support has shifted. The way it appeared, even when you look at media reports from during the time when the initial trial took place, even certain media outlets, the type of story they put out, is almost like they wanted to make Vibes Carter and his co accused look guilty. No. Based upon the thing that we will see in the media, even before Vibes Cartel was, or his murder conviction was quashed, we'd see like them and say, No, man, this not look good, this or that not look like it right, this or we don't know, maybe they were just unaware as they were being made aware, just like how the public 
was being made aware when certain things were being talked about at the UK Privy Council. But even from then, support has shifted. We see even most Jamaicans clearly saying that Vibes Carter was not given a fair trial. Now, as it pertains to the retrial, you don't know. Most citizens are saying it's a waste of money. Some citizens say it's an attempt to have Vibes Carter spend millions again. Well, Bert Samuels pointed out in another interview that there was a part of the release that said Vibes Cartel and his co-accused were to be reimbursed for legal fees. Some people cite that as a clear reason why the state wouldn't retry this case again. Keep in mind, when them say reimbursed, you know, for, for all of the legal fees, remember Vibes Cartel case go through trial, appeal, and the UK Privy Council. Millions of dollars were spent. If that means that the state have got repay him for all of those things, they have got reimbursed in millions. And keep in mind, other co-accused, Sean Star, Mad Skyro. So some people have said that alone. It's a clear indication that the state not going to go through that. But talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. If you're new to the channel and just a pass through, well, click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. And of course, Put up on all and this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon drop a like and bust a share and tell a friend for tell a friend for tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel check out the reasoning and also join the discussion the comment section 24 7 it never lock it just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines but other than that drop your thoughts and comments and yes your opinions there and we can continue the reason via the comment section now until the reason again my sentiments for you and yours is, of course, for you to live, love, and prosper, and for you to stay tuned 